hours ago, dozens of faith-based leaders gathered on Emory University's campus to have a conversation about last week's protests over the conflict in Gaza, which ended with arrest. The group now asking the university to take a stand. 11 Live's Brittany Klein-Peter continuing our team coverage tonight. So, Brittany, you have been on top of these events on Emory's campus since last week. What are these faith-based leaders asking Emory to do moving forward? Good evening, Faith. So this group of faith leaders, which represents various faiths across the metro Atlanta area, are basically asking Emory administration to denounce the violence that occurred last week when those arrests were made. They're also asking them to drop all charges against those who were arrested. They made this demand during a press conference earlier today, and it comes as we wait on the school's faculty to hold a no confidence vote against Emory University's president following those recent protests. 20 of the 28 people arrested are from Emory, according to the university, including students and professors. The faith leaders are also asking President Joe Biden to not speak at Morehouse's graduation until he helps Israel and Hamas reach a ceasefire, as well as calling on all universities across Georgia to divest in Israel. Students have taken a courageous stance against the unjust and disproportionate use of force that has resulted in the death of thousands of innocent civilians, including women and children. Today's conversation just comes days after anti-Semitic messages were found on Emory's campus and as Passover nears an end, the holiday which commemorates the redemption from slavery of the Jewish people. And it also comes at a time when many in the community are feeling mixed emotions. We actually spoke with a Jewish business owner who operates her business not too far from campus. She said she's experienced some attacks just over the last week uh, coming up at 5 p.m. tonight. I'm going to share more from that conversation and how she says Passover has felt differently this year. For now, reporting live from Emory University's campus, Brittany Kleinpeter, 11 Alive News, sending it back to you.